Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles. I am by myself today because Neon is off doing something else and you just get me. So we're going to talk today about the fact that yes, we are apparently getting Karen Page and Foggy Nelson back on Daredevil Born Again, which is something the fans had wanted. It seems like they're going to listen at least on this show. Hopefully it's a good sign, even though for every two steps forward, we'll have one step back and I'll talk about that in a minute. Before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, I will give you a woohoo, woohoo. And we're gonna talk about this. So there have been some new images out um, from somebody who was at the location where they were filming scenes for Daredevil Born Again. And it seems like they were filming the exterior scenes for the Nelson and Murdoch offices. So they have the actors in a couple different outfits, like they were doing all the scenes at once, which they, they do. And um, it seems like we have Deborah Ann Wool and uh, Eldon Henson back on set for this show along with Charlie Cox. So it seems like people want. For those who aren't familiar, the Netflix Daredevil show was incredibly popular. And these were the characters and the actors that played those characters from the Netflix show. Initially, Disney seemed to indicate that they were going to do something completely removed from the Netflix show because of course they are, because they're stupid. And when everything started going not the way they wanted, it seems like they, they thought maybe, just maybe somebody over there thought, hey, crazy, crazy thought here. But when we do what we wanna do, we change all the characters and don't make them you know, who people know, people don't like it. But what if, what if we went back and got the characters people liked from the show they liked and then made the show with them for the fans that liked it? Maybe those fans, which were there were a lot of, will come to Disney Plus and watch the Daredevil Born Again show on our streaming service. I mean, like it's a hard thought. I don't know why they, it takes them so long to come around to this, this realization, but it does every time. So if you remember, I don't know when it was, a little bit back, they had turned around and got rid of the people that were involved with the Daredevil Born Again show. So uh, when was this? I can't remember, October. Okay. They announced that they fired the head writers and potential directors because they were probably going to go with a different director each episode again on the show. And apparently it wasn't going the way Kevin Feige thought it should. And they brought on uh, one of the producers and writers from The Punisher, which was also a very popular show on Netflix. The character that a lot of these far extremists keep trying to cancel. They brought the writer and producer from that show over onto this one, Dario Scarpane, um, and brought him in to be a showrunner. So instead of having different people on every episode, different writers, different directors, they're going back to the whole idea of let's put one person in charge and have it as a showrunner and let them oversee the entire thing. Along with them, they brought in a Loki and I think um, Moon Knight directors, Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead, and they were brought in to work as the directors for this new show and they gave it a complete shift. Now the story was they were going to probably repurpose some of the footage that had been filmed because they had already been filming for quite a while. It was shut down during the, the strikes. They had, we had talked about that before. And then they just, when the strikes were over, even if I think it's why this is before the strikes were over, they announced they were changing it. Okay. Back when the writer strikes were over, but the, the SAG after weren't. They announced this whole new direction and they were going to try to repurpose what they could, but reshoot what they couldn't. And then after that, it was rumored we'd be getting these two characters back. These two characters were very popular in the Netflix show. If you haven't watched the Netflix Daredevil, um, which is now on Disney Plus, watch it because it is very good. All the, I mean, except for maybe Iron Fist, which we're going to talk about in a minute. All the shows they did were pretty, pretty well done. Um, the Defenders was also very interesting and very fun. I recommend them highly. It's what people wanted with Daredevil. And instead we got the She-Hulk thing, whatever that was. Even though the yellow costume was cool. And he is kind of a slut. So, you know, he's like, you know, it is what it is. But it's not what people wanted. And it seems like somebody over at Marvel and Disney is like, hey, let's get the fans what they want. Cause people are asking, you know, for Kingpin back, got Kingpin back. Want a Charlie Cox back, got Charlie Cox back. People are asking for these two to return and they're obviously returning. So in these pictures we can see, um, they came from this Finn, this Finn account, when Wing Finn 48 on Twitter. And apparently they were in the area 
And they got images of like the Nelson Murdoch page sign. They also have footage of them filming scenes outside the office where you can see Deborah Wall and Eldon Henson are back um, with Charlie Cox in these scenes. So they have them in a couple different outfits. I think it's because they were trying to do like multiple scenes at once, which they do when they do these things. So um, they're clearly back. It was rumored they were coming back a few weeks ago, January 14th, like a week or two ago. And now we have evidence that they are likely indeed back because they're on set filming scenes. Um, along with that, we also have the announcement that we got Wilson Bethel back as Bullseye. He was Bullseye in the, the Marvel series on Netflix. Um, he, was the, he played the character in the Daredevil show and they're bringing him back. So they're starting to see that they're trying to go and find the characters people like and they're bringing them back and which is a smart move which is what they need to do instead of changing what works you double down on what works you give people what they want it's like going to mcdonald's for a burger and they tell you they don't have anything but tacos and it's like but i don't want your tacos i don't care how good your tacos you think they are they're not the burger i wanted and it's like how do you get people to come back to your to mcdonald's you give them the burgers they want it's not hard i don't know why they can't understand this meanwhile the two two steps were one step back there may be developing iron fist for disney plus but of course it's going to be a female character as uh the lead the female iron fist they kind of did that in the second season of iron fist on um on Netflix, but they said they don't know if Jessica Henwick's coming back. I like Jessica Henwick. I think she's really good. I think she's underutilized. I just really like her. People didn't like Danny Rian and the Iron Fist. It was definitely the weakest offering over at Netflix. Um, I don't think making it a female character is going to change that. It was another situation like the Snake Eyes and G.I. Joe situation where Danny Rian's a white guy and they're pissed because well, how dare a white guy know martial arts? Because, you know, as much as they yell about cultural appropriation and stereotyping, they have to stereotype by being like, if he knows these things, he has to clearly be Asian. So now it's probably going to be an Asian woman um, to shut up the people that are mad. Personally, I don't, I mean, unless you're doing another Defenders, I don't know why you'd bother with Iron Fist. It was by far the weakest link over at Netflix. A lot of people didn't like it. I watched the first season and part of the second. I never finished it. I probably should do that. I never finished the second season of this one. I watched all of Daredevil. But a lot of fans were very, very excited when they were hearing their kind back, myself included. I have very much wanted these two characters back. To me, if you're gonna do Daredevil and you're gonna if you're gonna do it, you need to have them in it too. Like it's not the same. And Disney for the longest time were basically implying they weren't going to go down the route of the Netflix show. And now they're saying things that are coming out is indicating that they are definitely going to tie it to the Netflix show, which is what they need to do. So for every glimmer of hope, for every like little bit of like, look, look, there's some brain activity there. You, 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 you have this, you know, it's like every time you get like some people are like, okay, you're listening. And then they, they say this too. But let's pretend this doesn't exist for now just to be happier and just look and realize that, hey, hopefully they don't ruin it. They brought somebody in that worked on The Punisher for Netflix with, with you know, Karen Page character was in that. And I think that they're the reason why these guys are back. And the fact that they brought these guys back and they're bringing in the other, the bullseye from the show is very encouraging. And Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio were amazing and we're getting them back, also very encouraging. So I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about this one and I want it to be good so bad because I really like the Netflix version. And again, if you have not seen the Netflix version, um, it's on Disney Plus now. I think they took Netflix off of the name. Go watch it because it's very, very, very good. Um, so yay, we got kind of a win. Let's just hope that they're learning a lesson even though I'm not dumb enough to believe it in its entirety because again, Every time they show a glimmer of brain activity, they have to make some other idiotic, you know, move that makes you like put your slap yourself on the forehead and be like, why do you keep doing this? Anyway, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.